Amen. And it calls us to have really a spiritual growth. So we should take communion every once in a while. You know that? Amen. Because Amen. Jesus said so. Right. Amen. I'm going to uh, study priest out on let us not forgive him. Amen. Too many church people are forgiving him. Oh, I said too many church people are forgiving him. Right. Church are falling by the wayside. Because they forgot what Jesus has done for them, amen. amen. Saved them out of the very pits of hell. Glory to God. You know what, church? We some still remember Jesus. And, and church, you know, Israel had a had a, a, a just a, a I don't know a they, they soon forgot. I'll put it that way. They soon forgot what God had done for them. And God delivered them with five plagues. Open up the dead to the, the sea. I said he opened up the sea and they walked on dry land and how soon they forgot about it. Praise God. Jesus raised the dead, healed the sick, and everything yeah, else. And, and the, probably the very ones that say he healed everything, they probably turned against them. Amen. When, when, uh, when it was time to, for them to crucify Jesus. Amen. They didn't show up. And I thank God tonight we're doing this in remembrance of Jesus. I don't want to forget what Jesus Done. I said, I don't want to forget what Jesus has done. The church forget, the world can forget, and I'm not going to forget what Jesus done for me. How about you? Give him a hand. Oh, I thank God tonight. Praise God. And I know him. I said, I, I got a relationship with him. I'm not serving some dead God's church. A lot of people serve no dead God, but I'm not serving a dead God. Amen. That's what Psalm 16 says. Lord, I'm not serving no dead God, but I'm not serving a dead God. Amen. Amen. That's what says. He, we have a God that has eyes. He sees what we're doing. Oh, yeah. He knows where we're at. He's got <coughs> our feet, praise God, that when we walk, praise God, in the wilderness or whatever we walk into, in troubles and storms, He's walking right with us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They made the three Hebrew children, praise God, when they went into the far and furnace, He walked right in with them. I said he walks right in with him. And he's with you tonight, praise yeah. God. Yeah. I don't want to forget that. I don't know where I was at before he saved me. Yeah. How do you can remember where we were at before he saved yeah. you? Yeah. Praise God, I thank God. I couldn't sleep at night. I was always able to worry about if I was going to die before I wake. And this silly old me, I'm saying, how many have said that was a night prayer? It's okay for children to pray it. But when you're a dog, it's a different story. Oh, Lord, I lay me down to sleep. That had shot everything else. Oh, God, I pray my soul to keep. Not even meaning what I say. And if I was to die, I'd go to hell. Because I didn't mean it. It didn't come from the heart. The church of things come inside of you and go into the heart. Hey, but you'll not forget what Jesus had done for you. Look at the churches today. They forgot where Jesus brought them out to. I said they forgot what Jesus had brought them out and what he's done for them. But church, I thank God there's a raven. Amen. That don't forget for what Jesus has done for them. Oh, uh, forgive the Lord a hand clap, church. Amen. Oh, praise God. The Bible says, Paul, that Paul knew that, that people had a tendency to forget. Amen. God's people had their tendency to forget. I mean, God could do a work on them. Two weeks later, they forget. Oh, my. Amen. But Paul was reminding them. The Bible says in the first chapter 11, verse 23, The Lord Jesus, the same night which he would betray, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body. Praise God, which was broken for you. This you do in remembrance of me. And when he, after that, the same man also he took the cup. And when he had said, saying, This cup is the new testament, the new covenant, glory to God, in my blood. This do you as often as you drink in remembrance of me, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you show the Lord's death until <coughs> he comes. I'm here to tell you, church, when Jesus looked at his, those disciples, in fact, the Bible said that Jesus had a great multitude following him. Amen. But, but when the Jesus stood up and told them that they would have to take the bread and take the blood, the Bible said there was many turned against him. Amen. I'm telling you, church, we got we got to suck and eat the bread of Jesus. His body was broken for us. Glory to God. His Amen. blood was shed us for us. Praise God. And church, we tell you, he washed us. Our sins are gone. He Amen. sanctified us. Glory to God. And we got power over sin. And, and God looks at his son. Praise the God. Amen. And church, when, I, when, he, 
when he was in the, in the grave and his blood was shed, he looked at that. He said, the praise God, my son is a lamb of God. His blood is precious. I'm going to accept what he did. And then church, we were justified. And the Spirit of God, what you feel tonight, that's the Spirit of God that has come down in you and brought you out alive. Right now we can say I'm alive. I'm alive because Jesus has been resurrected and because he was alive, Lord God. We are alive tonight and we can worship him and praise him. Oh, I'm glad tonight I'm saved with you. Oh, this world's going to and fro. But I thank God, church. I know who I serve. Praise God. Amen. See, we don't we don't need to forget. Right. How how often we forget. Amen. How much he loved us. See, he loved us, church, when we didn't love him. I said he loved us when we were sinners. When we mocked him, made fun of him, ignored him. I mean, this is what I'm saying. The church, he still loved us. Even when he was on the cross, as that song says, when he was on the cross, he was on me. I was on his mind. He was on your mind. Oh, <coughs> praise God, church. I thank God for his love tonight. Amen. And I don't, to, I don't want to forget it. Hey, you know, when the devil comes to knock it, thank God you put you. say, Jesus, I thank you for the blood. And I thank you for giving me power and authority over him. So get behind me, devil. I don't need to listen to you. I listen to you too long. My Jesus is my Lord Amen. and my Savior Amen. and my healer. And I don't want to do with you. Oh, give him one hand, class church. Oh, he loved us. Even before he, we were Christians, he loved us. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 19, we love him. Why? Because he loved us. Yes, man. Oh, praise God. Can you look out how look back and see all the time that you talked about him and made fun of him and everything when you when you was a sinner? But oh I thank God when he came into our life. He loved us for life. And truth, we thank God he saved us. Can I hear that man? He loved us. And the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. He that hath made him to be sin for us, who do no sin, that we might be made the righteous of God in him. Glory to God. In him, in his precious blood, church. And because his love, he loved us, he was, he was willing to die for us. But the Bible says, principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, and all of these other things that's coming against nothing. The Bible says, nothing shall separate his love, amen, from God. Why? Because Jesus loved us, and he, he gave us his love, and praise God, we love him. I love him, glory to God. And church, I want the world to know I love him. He's my Lord, he's my master, glory to God. I love him tonight. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us. Oh, he bought us. He paid a heavy price. That song says that he, that he had, we had a debt we couldn't pay. But he paid that debt. We couldn't pay it, church, but he redeemed us. Glory to God. From the curse of the law being made a curse for us. Thank God. Church, we were cursed. We were on our way to the devil's hell. Amen. But you know what? He took our sins. I said he took our sins, he took the sins of the whole world. He hung upon the cross, glory to God, that he loved us and everything. He, I mean, he saved the whole, the whole world was cursed. But thank God he took the whole world on his shoulder. In fact, it was, the Bible says that when Jesus took all the sins and everything of this whole world, God had to turn his back upon his precious son because he couldn't look up on the sin. And therefore he had to turn around his back. Could you imagine your dad turned your back on you when you need him the most? But God did that because he loved us. And through his love, glory to God, Jesus turned us around. Amen. And gave us salvation and gave us a living and saved our soul. Amen. And blessed us. It was the devil trying to kill, steal, destroy us. But the Bible said Jesus come to, amen, to give us life and life more abundantly. Church, he gave us abundant life. We are blessed. I said we are blessed tonight. I don't want to forget it, forget it, amen. And you know what the Bible says? Don't forget. Yes. Don't forget all the benefits. Do you have to remind us sometimes? Don't forget all your benefits. He did it. He paid it up on the cross of Calvary tonight. Amen. Oh, give him one of his clap church. I feel yeah. this tonight. You know, we see he was he died and become a curse for us. He took on our curse. And gave us life. The Bible says also he was buried for us. Amen. See, Jesus, not only did he die for us, but he was buried. Yeah. Amen. I don't believe in that sprinkling. 
I said, I don't believe in that sprinkling. Amen. Because we were missing the whole point of everything. There you go. Jesus, amen. amen, he died. I mean, he died. And they buried him. Yeah. You know, amen, in a cruel dark grave or two. Amen. But the Bible, Jesus knew he wasn't going to be dead long. Amen. He said, on the third day, I'm going to raise, be right, raise up. Amen. But what he died for us. So when we come to him, people don't realize it. We died. We spiritually died, glory to God, but he, and He gave us life. Yes. He resurrected us, glory to God. I thank God, church, I've been, I've been dead, I've been buried, and I've been resurrected yeah. into a new life. Yeah. And I want, the, I want the devil to know it, I want the world to know it, and thank God I want Jesus to know it. He saved my soul. Yes. Oh, do this to remember me. Do this to remember me. That's what Jesus said. Come on, tell them. <coughs> not to forget how soon the Bible says in Psalm 106 I think 106 verse 13 it says they soon forgot they forgot the, uh, the sea when he opened it up they forgot they put it, when he uh, ran down banner from heaven they forgot hallelujah when he thought out a tree in the in the water there it was purified glory to God he forgot they forgot church they took him out of, out of the pits of Egypt and brought him to the land of milk and honey, and how soon they forgot. Church and church people are the same way. I said the church people are the same way. Amen. And church, the best thing to do that, get in church, stay in church, read your Bible, pray, and say, Jesus, I give you the glory every day. I said, I give you the glory. I don't forget you. Amen. I go to bed not forgetting Jesus. I get up not forgetting Jesus. I have a relationship with him. I said, I have a relationship with him. Amen. Amen. But he, he was buried. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 30, verse 3 and 4. Romans 6, 3 and 4. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized, not in water, not sprinkled, but baptized in Jesus. Amen. A lot of people don't understand that, but they were baptized in Jesus. Right. In other words, praise God, when you, when you come to Him, you, you died in Jesus. Amen. You raised up, glory to God, in a resurrection of life, glory to God. Ooh, hallelujah. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus, were baptized into his death? Amen. We gotta die, church. Right. I said we gotta die. Amen. We gotta die to sin. Amen. We gotta die to the flesh. We gotta die to the devil. We gotta Amen. die to the world, praise God, and live in Jesus. Bob said, therefore, it may, it may be in Christ. He's a new preacher, and you'll never become a preacher until you die and bury and resurrect in Jesus. And church, you become a new person. Oh, you become a new person. Not the same old guy anymore. This old man don't live here anymore. I said, this old how about you? This old man don't live here anymore. Well, he's been resurrected and made alive. Amen, Brother Dawson. We've been made alive. We've been resurrected, praise God, through Jesus Christ. And I don't want to forget it. Never. They said, well, if we see more miracles. Nobody's seen the miracles like, like Israel did. Right. And they soon forgot it. You know why? Because they didn't have a relationship with God. God does these things to have a relationship. Church, we need a relationship with God. I said we need a relationship, and that's why we take communion now, because it said, do this in remembrance of me. He died for me. I said he was resurrected yeah. for me. He, he was ascended to heaven for me. And church, one day he's coming back. I said one day he's coming back. Glory to God. Give the Lord a hand. Yeah. Oh, I love the Lord tonight. Oh, I, I, I've been to heaven since that's all right. Therefore, verse 4 says, Therefore we are buried with him in baptism into death, that like as Jesus was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Oh, no, I'm not doing what the old man used to do. I said, I'm not drinking the way the old man used to do. I'm not cussing the way the new man, the old man used to do. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying. I'm not going places where the old man used to go. Hello! Oh, give a little head clap, church. Because I've been buried. I've been resurrected. I've become alive in Jesus. I'm a new person. How about you? If you haven't changed, you need to get saved again. Glory to God. You're doing the same old thing that you did before you got saved. 
You ain't saved. That's right. I got, like I said, said well, my sins are gone, my sins are gone. Where are they at? They're in the blood of Jesus and the altar. That's where they thank God for the altars. Hallelujah. Oh, it's good to know that we can worship the Lord and love Him. He was buried for us that we could be resurrected alive. The church I believe with all my heart. Now, we need to pray for our nation. Like I said, this one, it was, it was now some what is that, Son of Light broadcasting that what I said this morning. The, the churches are, are celebrating. I said they're celebrating Jesus Christ resurrected. But the, the people in the Pine House, they made this a day of celebration. I said they made this day for the for celebration of the transgender. Yep. They believe that at the White House. And I'm not celebrating church. When it comes to abortion, I'm not celebrating them. When it comes to homosexuality, I'm not celebrating them. Are yeah. you listening to what I'm saying, church? Yes. I'm, when it comes to homosexual, I'm not celebrating it, but I will give them Jesus. Amen. Jesus Amen. will save their Amen. souls. Jesus will Amen. deliver them. That's what Paul said in, 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 first, in Paul in First Corinthians. He said, one time you were one of these, but thank God you're saved. You're worshiping the blood of Jesus. You're sanctified blood justified. You've got the Holy Spirit living with you, and you don't want to do that stuff anymore. That's right, man. Praise the Lord. Yeah. we we got to love them. Thank God somebody loved me enough to pray for me. I pray for the people up there. Lord, save them. Amen. They don't know what they're doing. Deliver them. Let their days be few. Let their days be few because they're, they're storing our nation. We can say, Lord, we got a right to say that their days be few and that you'll soon replace them. I believe that, church. I don't care whether he's a Democrat or Republic or still a Pope or Toe Pope or whatever. If he's not doing for the, the wrong thing about our nation, we don't deserve to, amen, to have him. Amen. Well, Jesus is soon coming back. He's coming back after those of pure water. Amen. Washing the blood of the Lamb. Amen. And we don't, we don't preach it in a fashion, but we don't preach it. Everybody pray. So, Jesus. Jesus made a way yes. that if we mess up. I don't mean I don't mean killing somebody. I'm talking about these little sins. The little sin will take you to hell through the big sin will. Right. Envy and strife and jealousy. Not this other little stuff. These are these are little what do they say, foxes in the vines. Yeah. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying. And with the Holy Spirit, Brother Tony preached on this morning about. Uh, God, what does he do? Uh, he, uh, I can't think of the word now. The brains of your heart? No. The afflictions. Chastise. 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 Don't, don't, don't get old. I'd be younger than you were here. That's why I write it down. One day I'm going to have a brand new mind. I'm going to have a brand new mind. Yes, yes. This is what I'm saying, glory to God. But until then, I'm going to serve him to eternal. Like that God. song says, I'm going to serve him. Amen. Praise his name. Glorify him. Amen. For he's come. I'm going to wait upon him. I'm going to praise him while I'm waiting. I'm going to come to church. I'm yes. going to worship him. I'm going to, hey, I'm going to dance. Amen. Yes. For him, glory to God. I am going to serve the Lord because yes. church. He yes. saved us. He paid a price for us, glory to God. Yes, and I'm going to worship him and praise him. I don't care what the world says. Amen. Because he died. I'm not, I'm not forgetting what he does. Yeah. Sometimes we ought to take a look. Some people say, I don't like the Old Testament. Well, you've got to have the Old Testament, and that's what they're doing away with. That's what they're doing away with, away with history and everything. Not understand that the young people don't even know how this nation was founded. Right, yeah. That's true. I said they don't even know how this, found, this, this nation was founded because they're trying to get rid of everything. All the statues, that's why they're doing it. And all the history books, definitely, because he's raised up a generation that doesn't know God. The Bible says in the Old Testament, there was a generation raised up that didn't know God, and pretty soon God had to destroy them. <coughs> and church, our nation's in trouble. I said our nation's Amen. in trouble. And it's time for the church to wake up. And when we take the new name, let's remember what Jesus did. He Amen. changed us. He made us whole. Praise God. Right. And we're no more walking in darkness. He 
said, we're the light of the world. We're the salt, glory to God. But he's soon coming back. That's what he said. Do this in remembrance of me until I come back. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26, For as often you eat this bread and drink this cup. Now, church, let me tell you something. We are drinking his blood every day. We're breaking that bread every day. Yes. Amen. But this is the symbolic thing that it reminds us, amen, that we need to remember Jesus every day and what he did. Yes. And take the bread and take the blood which, which Jesus gave us through his word and through the new covenant thing and walk in it, talk with it, praise God, and follow Jesus. So he's coming back. Amen. Oh, he's coming back. Amen. Well, I've heard it, my grandma, grandpa, great grandpa, great grandpa, all this other stuff. Told me he's coming back. Duh, duh, deep dog, tilt, tilt. One, one thousand years like one day to keep. So he's gonna be gone over two days. Church, we gotta wake up. He's soon coming back. I said he's soon coming back. And we need to remember who Jesus is and what Jesus did for us. And we need to serve him and worship him and glorify him and praise him every day. I'm going to eat your bread and I'm going to break your blood every day. And I'll recognize, to praise God, that if it was for that, I couldn't, amen, function. I couldn't. Right. But I need to feel his love and his yes. spirit flowing through me. So the more I drink his blood, the more I eat his bread, Lord God, and this is stronger and stronger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, that's chapter 4, verse 11. I'm just to close. I think I might have said this morning. Bob said that his, 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 his same Jesus, see, the disciples got to see Jesus go up. Yes. And, uh, I mean, they were heartbroken. But at the time, they didn't realize, when, when he went to this place, they didn't realize he was going to soon be taken up. And even though he told them, I'm going to go to my father. I'm going to go to my father. I'm going to sit on his right side, make an intercession for you. If I don't go back, you can't have the Holy Ghost. You can't have the comforter. Right. Ooh, glory to God. Why he was talking to them, loving them. Yeah. I mean, you just feel his love as he's talking to them. And all at once. I mean, just all at once. What a sight to behold. He just began to take breath. Boy, they looked. Amen. He kept going up. He kept going up. He kept going up. He kept going up. Pretty soon he was outside and they just kept looking. I, I said they kept looking. Finally, God sent him a couple of angels death and said, This same Jesus. This same Jesus yes. that saved your soul, this same Jesus that was buried and resurrected, that same Jesus that delivered you, yeah. he's going to come back, yes, praise God, is. just like he like you went up. Yeah. Church, he's coming back. Yeah. I don't care what the church said. I don't care what the world said. I don't care what the devil said. He's coming back, and we need to be ready. Yeah. I give him yeah. a little hand. Glory to God. Oh, we need to be ready. Yeah. But the Bible tells us. I will say we got to watch and pray that we'll be found worthy of this stuff. Church, we're going to take the meeting tonight in remembrance of what our precious Lord did. Now, when he says his body was broken, just turn to Isaiah, seeing how he was beaten. I mean, his flesh was just poured off of him. He was, I mean, he the bone family laid on his head, thorns. He done it for us. Would you stand tonight?